to the fourth estate. My name is Alan Kasuja, and it's a smaller panel today. It's let's start with, of course, our resident philosopher. Philosopher, what? <laughs> and he's a journalist as you're, well. You're, you're going to run out of um, ways. Yeah. Of politics. Disc disc no, I don't think that will ever happen. Mm. He, he's he's a teacher, a philosopher, a lawyer, all sorts of things. And his name yeah. is obviously Angelo Izama. Great to have you here, man. As Thank usual. you, Alan. He's also a royal, by the way. He's a royal. He's a, he's a prince. Everybody in Uganda is royal. Ex no. Exactly. <laughs> 34 million uh, royals. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We've got Chris Obore, who is absolutely not royal, not diplomatic either, but he does well as the editor of Investigations Editor at the Daily Monitor. And I, of now, course, I now take a new role. What is predict that? on who becomes a minister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because because, because right. you've been predicting that our friend Frank, yeah. Congratulations has he, has to you. he really been yes, predicting? Yes. Okay. He said that. You, no, actually, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way he said it was uh -huh. that this man has been fighting for for ministry or something like that. Uh, you know, for him, he, has he was to be even negative. supposed to have been in the first cabinet and it was deleted at the last minute. Really? And I told him that yeah. your name was there, and someone yeah. removed it. Welcome. So this time, Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank congratulations. You, I'm Thank sure you, you've taken about a thousand calls congratulating you. Yes, for sure. Minister. You're yes. minister in charge of the presidency in the last reshuffle. Do you yeah. have an idea what that actually means? An idea, of course, I have because I am not strange to that sector. Mm -hmm. I was, you worked uh, in the state I was a deputy at DC, the famous one uh, <laughs> Obore talks about yeah. in yeah. Uganga. I created a good network there, mm -hmm. I didn't have any controversies there. I came to president's office, not even state house. You see, there are two institutions, but all under the presidency. Right. There is state house, where you have most of the private secretaries and the PPAs. Then you have the office of the president with the PS called secretary to the president. Then you have the RDC network. So the two combined form the presidency, and it's entirely for facilitating the operations of the president. So by and large, you're going to be like a chief of staff to make sure that the the president is effective in his work. Maybe yes, maybe no. Chief of staff, maybe that could be maybe a PPS. But oh. more or less, more or less, more or less, the presidency was created mm. to create a bridge between the work of the president, the other ministries, and the population. Is it the beginning of bigger things for you? Because we know that Mr. Bukenya, Pro Professor Bukenya, yes, started off as minister in charge of the presidency. But there are also other people, not only the Bukenya. Right. Yes. Well, bigger things, bigger things or small things. I don't think that's the issue. Uh -huh. To me, this appointment comes as a, first of all, as, 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 as a recognition <coughs> or, and confidence in doing some work. I am not the first to be appointed. Do you see it as a reward? Not necessarily. The NRM does not reward or revenge. Because sometimes you have seen people query the president. Why are you appointing, are you, are you appointing so and so? Some people have actually accused him mm. of rewarding in this plea. But for him, in his own, uh, in his own discretion or, or judgment, he knows why he's appointed you. You get the point. So to me, my appointment, I look at it as, you know, being given an opportunity to serve. You get the point. <laughs> You've been working voluntarily. <laughs> because we have actually, some of us, who that's start... The political, yes. That's the politically correct thing to say. Let me tell you, some of us <laughs> as, a, as a NRM youth leaders. I call myself a youth leader, so yeah. I am above the youth bracket, oh. because I started as a youth activist, mm. right from Barra University. I went to Mbale with the Obore. And By then the Obore. we were agreeing, but bordering on sharp disagreements. Mm. So in Uganda National Students Association, so that activism was not for pay. That activism was not induced by any expectation of an appointment. So really, when the president recognizes our efforts and says, come and serve legitimately, not in your voluntary capacity. To me, really, it's, uh, we appreciate that. And uh, we take it with humility and, 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 and prepare ourselves to, to engage the Oboris. I, I'd, rather, I'd, I'd like to hear what Oboris <laughs> <laughs> has to say about... I don't know what to say about his, his service. But know. he congratulated me. <laughs> Interestingly, yeah, yeah. he was the second he person. He was the second person to congratulate To call me and tell me you have been appointed. Because yeah. the first call, I couldn't believe it. Mm. It was from the Daily Monitor. So when he called, I said, now this investigation is editor. Now I can confirm the news. Yeah. Yeah. So he has faith so, in you as well. He has faith in my investigation. Yeah. When he's confirming his interest. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. No, but do. his analysis, you I know, don't, I don't he's know been called to serve. We, we know Frank. We know Frank on the show, but we also know Frank off the show. He's not a bad guy. 
But, but in a case like yours, when you look at his appointment and things like that, first of all, what statement is President Museveni making? Secondly, do you see, as a predictor of who's going to become minister, do you see bigger things coming up? And what's your analysis of what he's just said? Well, what he has just said is a politically correct statement. For when it is like a church. Uh -huh. when, you, when, you, when you get born again, when you know the Bible, you say, God has called me. But some people still continue, even after God has called them, they continue to do satanic things. <laughs> but there's always a continuous repentance that brings out the call salvation. Yeah. I don't know whether to spoil his party or to help him enjoy his <laughs> right. life. Let's do both. Let's hear so both. I think let me first let him enjoy his limelight. Yeah. That uh, I think it is rewarding to him. Mm -hmm. I've known him for a bit since from student politics. We have been seeing, he was very close to Andre Krabogo, trying to mobilize youth for the president. They really did a good job down there, trying to challenge. Instead of using the militaristic approach, they were using the ideological approach to try to convince the youth. And I used to give him headache on those for us. Because mm. for me, I, I never saw anything good in President Museveni from the word go. And you still haven't? I still haven't seen. Until you're appointed I, I, only, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, only, I only tolerate him because he's the president. Yeah. So there's a degree of tolerance in me that right. I can still be able to see. And he can also tax. tolerate the likes of but you. Yeah. He has no choice because I have a right to be in Uganda. <laughs> and for him, he can't be a president in perpetuity. perpetuity. That's what I'm saying. He has to tolerate. I tolerate him. But Frank has been doing that. When he was, before even that, he was on radio talk shows. Even when he was at DC, Frank was a mobilizer. So he's been working for his way. He's been position. working for his, his way. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why when they first removed him, I felt he was betrayed. But I don't see and that. I told him. him they removed that, him from what? He was supposed to have been a minister first in the, when this cabinet was formed. Where was that written? So I told you this. Don't be <laughs> been talking. So it, it uh, was removed by somebody. Uh, he was to really, That's to really not right. back for That's Frank. not right, Alan. But then, Bringing Frank to the cabinet is beyond just rewarding him. President Museveni is firmly focused on who becomes a president after him. And Frank is the guy? No, Frank is one of the factors in that equation. <laughs> trying, trying to mold the next president. 2016 is still Museveni. And Frank is going to work tooth and nail. The Aradishis are going to become Aradishis again. Because he knows them. He understands the methods. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to see Frank Arisha for a lot of I might see most sleeping people go away. I don't have that power. But then, but you work with the presidency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but then what I'm seeing here is, Frank here, don't rule out the Muhozi equation. In the now he, you hear the Wolokos, Listen, so he's breaking. <laughs> can, can I give you this? Yeah, let's hear it. Why, why, why are you impatient? You're uh, not a minister, by the uh, way. You're no longer just an ordinary MP. Don't intimidate me. <laughs> no, he's, <laughs> he's using that one to intimidate me on no, this but, show. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we can't okay, do it. Okay. Okay. Frank is going to remain himself. Uh, but he's a minister. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a decorum that comes with the Okay, make your point. So, make your point succession, Muhozi is the right person the president wants. But and this, this the president has told you personally? Yeah, no, listen. Keeping these old people, what they call the sleeping cabinet, mm. around, and bringing in Todong, bringing in Frank, bringing in another young person, putting Shemba in, in in the Chigezi region, region oh. is for a tragic purpose. So Frank is a very good bird of Mohozi. You can't deny it here. You have seen him along, and they know what they are plotting. Soon or later, mm. you see Mohozi's influence coming into the politics. Really? And by the time the sleeping men are told, please go and look after your grandchildren, uh. there is already a base of young people who are loyal to, to, to Muhozi, to do the politics. This, but but I don't agree with your body. Because well, you're, what you're doing is you're is actually he's taking entitled, the merit you see, he's entitled, out of Frank's he's appointment. No, no, but, but they are friends. No, but you're taking the merit out of his appointment. Obore, you're obore, saying, you're obore, speaking uh, from two sides of your mouth. Alan, Alan, Alan. One second, hold on, Frank. Okay. You're saying for one second that the guy has been working hard. And then you're also introducing the Muhozi element. And you think Muhozi has been sleeping? He has been working hard? No, the, 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 he's entitled to his opinions. Yeah. And he's told me as a minister now, I have to be very diplomatic. No, you don't need to yes. be. Yes. Yeah, you'll just be frank. You see, he, he's trying to create an impression that this is some kind of scheming. Far from that. Ah, so, far from... Yeah, ah. because really, for me, from university, where I'm seven did not know me at all as a student of mathematics and physics at Mara University, who, whose scheming was it, really, to, to engineer us, to bring us up? It was really our own making. So you cannot... So you created your own opportunity? For sure, yes. So the president, even if today Frank goes off, Obore comes in a good way... Highly unlikely, but... Yes. Uh, Obore will, will come here. Okay. So if it is a scheming, if it's a deliberate uh, plan of scheming and counter-scheming, you would see 
some general manager is going on, a leader being picked, being made, being planted. Because we have brought ourselves. Okay. But so it can't be a scheme. But you know when you're in the Bara University, it can't be a scheme. Mr. Aleho picked you into the movement scheme. Okay, hold on. Let's just deny that. that. No. no. What should actually say Ngo Mangime and Let Mayombo, they mobilized us as young people. Okay. So they were not in Bara. Let's talk to Angelo here now. Angelo, you've had it. We've got new blood coming in. New faces. We've got Richard Todong, we've got Frank here coming into the new cabinet. But has it fundamentally changed the makeup of the government as it is? It's just like English tea, a few squats of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the one in Europe. It's very, very small. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I must say, you know, if you are thinking of brewing African tea, this 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 reshuffle actually is not a reshuffle. There's been a, a shuffle of some, some kind. A shuffle as opposed like, to a reshuffle. Like, uh, like Nobad Mao was saying. No, I congratulated Frank. I know... Uh, Richard Todong quite well. Uh, as you know, it, it's uh, a good thing to have a, a generation in, uh, with the step in the inside the door. The time is uh, it's another ten years, really, only for majority of that cabinet uh, to make it impossible for them to remain in their seats. You know, because they'll be in their seventies, <coughs> most of them. Yes, but also the circumstances have changed so much that there's there there have actually been unacceptable delays in transitioning young people into places of leadership. This is one of the problems that we have here. The talking points for this cabinet shuffle has been, of course, the reappointment of uh, uh, honorable uh, Sam Kutesa and uh, Mwesuga Rukutana and um, Nasasira. John Nasasira, and of course, Professor Tassis Kawajiri. And my impression was that because it was not a reshuffle in a sense, I expect one maybe towards the uh, the end of this term. That the message <clears throat> the president was was sending was, you know, that he's not going to abandon his um, ministers, even those who have been accused of, actually who have been picketed by, uh, by parliament by parliamentary troublemakers from within the NRM. That's the impression that I got by his uh, reappointment. But what, what value is that to him? Well, it's important because, you see, uh, loyalty for his generation, for that group, is key in whatever they're going to do within the next five years and then looking forward for another five years. But, Alan, what you don't see about President Museven, I don't want you to let this point move. President Museven as a person is a very futuristic kind of leader. That's why he's, he's been able to ride the tide within his peers among, and among NRM uh, so-called top guns. This point, I'm telling you, keeping the Kajuras who are past even the retirement age, bring the, retirement bringing the Kabujeres in. President Museveni is simply very, very strategic. He wants this group to sleep their way out of power. Has is bringing out the Tumwe Yes, they, they, they are going to sleep their way out of power. All, all they want. The Tumwe are not that many. Yeah, no. Frank, I think, is one Listen, of the youngest Listen, this, this, this is the preamble. Things. This is a preamble oh. to the Muhozi presidency equation. Don't rule it out. This yeah, is a preamble. Are you facilitating the process of getting Muhozi into Muhozi the presidency? Muhozi stands the, a chance, like any other Ugandan stands a chance, to come up and show his credentials. If Ugandans buy his credentials, then he becomes president. Mm. But my disagreement with Obore, you see, you have a the president. The Frank's has changed. Have you guys noticed? <laughs> sure, no. No, no, that is him. I have been intimidated by your body. <laughs> <laughs> that, that if you risk being and uh, you, you must be humble. Uh, you know, yeah, now. Things, uh -huh. So, the president first of all respects the people's choices. Maybe save for Kabwejere, who is not currently elected. You get the point. It was quite disastrous when he was in the Ministry of Disaster, wasn't well, it? Well, that, that, that aside, yeah. I have my own views about that ministry especially. But, but, but what about <laughs> Kabwe Jere, effective as a person? Kabwe I know you're bound Kabwe by some... Jere, mm. uh, Kabwe Jere is, stands out to be a very rigid politician, which actually more or less makes him an intellectual, the kind of Angel style. Mm. He's a very kind of person who believes in his own philosophy. Mm. And he's very eloquent on a positive note. Yeah, like he told the Tesos that <laughs> yes. they spend more time drinking yes. than than digging. So po politically, that's why he would uh, clash with the with the lawmakers because mm. he's a kind of person who wants to make his point across, whether you like it or not. He does not want to 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 to, to, to pay attention to to political considerations. 
So in the president in, in President Museveni, there's some good sort there to, to pick on. And these are comrades he's worked with. You get the point. Mm. Now you and me may think they are tired. No, they are tired. Uh -huh. There's no two ways about that's, it. That's your opinion. Even, and, even, even, what's the guy who's the guy? Who's the guy this? Our right father of prime minister, our deputy prime minister. 84, one, 84 years old. Hoima with 80%. Mm. So, call him tired, call him old. But the how, president, how, how many goes civil the, servants are in his ministry? The president, that's <laughs> a different story. Uh, the president <laughs> must respect that will. Constituency. Yes, for yeah. sure. What about the guy? Uh, that's how he balances it. But the theory one, Amuri Haile, why is he a cabinet minister? Maybe that's a different story. Yes. Let's talk about... respect people's opinion. Well, what are the dynamics? The How does the president think this whole thing through? Very briefly, I'm going to invite the guys to engage on that. If you stay with us, please do.